Mi, Mai, I don't Mi, Mi Yong Dong. This district is supposed to be filled with tons of things to do, lots of good street food, so we're just going exploring. Do you think you put the whole thing in your mouth? Don't so shake it. <laughs> good start to the street food. <laughs> it's happening. The carts are rolling in. Almost five o'clock. The food stalls are in full force. They're cooking. It's getting louder. We're gonna make like one pass down this big road and like feel them all out, see what we want, and then come back and actually eat. had something delicious. There were easily over a hundred. That was like five blocks. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I know <laughs> one thing for sure, we're gonna go poor buying food tonight. So like, what's our strategy? Do you wanna like eat in order, like as we see things, or are we gonna like jump around? Like, I feel like we should just go down the line, but then I'm scared we're gonna stop at every single one and then get full before something like really good. What looked the best to you? <laughs> Spicy and more spicy. 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 Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. This is what looked the best. It's like thinly sliced pork belly all shoved on a skewer with green onions in between and some delicious looking sauce. He also used a blowtorch to finish it off at the end, which was fantastic. I think this is gonna be so good. Oh. oh yeah. That is so good. It tastes like the Korean version of barbecue. Like, it's got like a sweet, almost barbecue sauce taste to it, but a lot of spice like you would expect in Asia, and it is so, so good. It's basically like a giant piece of bacon put on a skewer with incredible sauce. What are you gonna get? <laughs> You're splitting that with me. That's so hot though, but so spicy. like just enough spicy too. Kara's version of just enough spicy means that my mouth is on fire and my nose is sweating. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to taste anything else the rest of the night. I always know when something is extra spicy because it gives me the hiccups. <laughs> like every time. It's so hot, my lips are on fire. The kimchi at lunch gave me the hiccups too. <laughs> Since our mouths are on fire and I still have the hiccups, we thought the bread with the egg on it looked really good. I don't know if there's anything else to it, but look how pretty it is. I've seen them everywhere. Oh, hot. Mm. It's like cornbread. I'm like, kind of is like a cake with an egg on top. The bread is sweeter than I prefer, but it, it's nice after the spice. Spicy meat. <laughs> Too sweet for me. You know the rest. So I know we had dumplings for lunch, but these are totally different. They've been seared and so they're like kind of crunchy. And it came with this onion sauce or soy sauce. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where you guys from? Tennessee. What are you doing here? Eating. <laughs> that is not the first random conversation with an Australian I've had. I love Australians. They're just so friendly. Like we're sitting here filming and then he just comes up and starts talking. <laughs> Next we miss you, Charlie and Jill. Mwah. 
Okay, so back to the dumplings. I love the ones we had for lunch, but there's something about the ones that have been fried and have that little bit of crispy in them. And the insides of these are totally different. There's like these noodly things coming out and green onions with the soy sauce on top. So dumplings are my favorite anyways. These are gonna be hard to beat. Multiple people have suggested that we get these black noodles. We've heard that it's basically a Chinese dish that the Koreans have made their own. It's like a black bean sauce with these really thick noodles and a little bit of spicy on top. Hey! <laughs> Still eating. Still eating. Have you had this one yet? You have? Is it good? Yeah. Everything is good here. This one smells kind of weird. I don't know. It was introduced to the spices. Black bean noodles. Beautiful. Oh, I bought. I've never had anything like this. It's a very strange flavor. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm a little disappointed. Like, I thought it was going to be super, like, soy sauce. -y. I had low expectations to begin with. Bean noodles just did not sound that good. Um, yeah. It's not bad, but honestly, it tastes like spicy SpaghettiOs. Yes! Like, it tastes like SpaghettiOs with an Asian spice <laughs> with some really thick noodles. It's so like, if you like SpaghettiOs, <laughs> It's just way too sweet for me to be like a good Asian noodle. I'm so glad you agreed with me and I'm not just weird. I like wanted to like it so much. <laughs> you were trying really I was going to be like angry at you if you liked it and I didn't. I mean it's okay but no I think we have some more feelings about it. Dumplings are still my number one. My hair is on the chest. There you go. You can finish it. <laughs> we are four dishes in. There's another walking tree on this side, so we're gonna switch up the scene and see what they have going on over here. I'm a little upset. This road is like so much longer with so many more food stalls. We've already had four things. I'm gonna get full. Which way do you wanna go? I think this way. Or not this way. Let's go this way. Turns out this street is mostly closed vendors, so I don't feel as bad about eating four things on the other street. So for lunch we had dumplings, for dinner we had dumplings, and now for dessert, we're having a dessert dumpling. It has a strawberry and chocolate inside, and this really adorable girl is making them right here, and we just had to try it. It's super soft. The chocolate is not chocolatey. It might not be chocolate. No I actually don't think it's chocolate. I'm a little bummed it's not chocolate. I should have looked closer before I bought it. But it's still pretty good. So I asked the lady who was making these what was on the inside. She spoke a little bit of English, so I figured out why Kara didn't like the chocolate. Because it's red bean paste. So it's like dumpling red bean paste and a strawberry, which is probably like the weirdest combination I've ever heard of. But at the same time, it's really not that bad. This was 
such a good one in Rob. The dough is a lot like it, the dumplings that we've had. Like, I thought it was going to be like crispy and like kind of dry, but it's like super moist, doughy pancake and savory, just the way I like them. This was the perfect first day in South Korea. We just walked around, got lost, ate a bunch of stuff. It's just one of my favorite kind of days. There are, some of the best days are days where there's not like one big thing that like makes it an awesome day. It's the days where like a bunch of little things just add up to make a really good day. With really good food. And the best part is we got to try seven new things today and we still have at least 25 things on our list to eat in South Korea. Normally when we go to a country, we have like five things. We're like, we have to try these five things yeah. before we leave. But here the list is just so keeps long. Keeps adding, we keep learning about new foods that we have to try. It's like my dream, this place. And we have six more days. 